a bit of a troublemaker. <laughs> Alright. Here we are on Gresvin. Winner from last match. It is Geralt. Spawning on the other side of the map. We have Gref. Once again, we have a probe moving across the map. Oh, cannon rush Geralt again, please. Please cannon rush Geralt again. Let's see it. Come on, let's see the dirty Protoss shenanigans. Yes! <laughs> oh, PvP is great. This is how I play PvP, to be honest with you. Whenever I play a PvP, it's always just just, just the dirtiest things. It's big on a proxy void ray for a little while. All right, Geralt has to know something's up, right? Double, uh, double gateway there for our Protoss player. Ooh, actually, really nice micro there by uh, Geralt. Oh, super unfortunate for our Protoss player in teal. Doesn't quite get the wall up, and the probe goes down. It looks like he's decided to uh, abandon the cannon rush. Ooh, actually, uh, reserving that Vespine geyser as well with the probe. Nicely done. For those of you who don't know, you can actually kind of tuck a probe up against the geyser, and your opponent will not be able to uh, actually build on it. I believe that's what Gref was doing here. I'm not sure if he was just trying to set up to take the geyser or not. Alright, we do have a sneaky probe. Uh, it looks like we're up to some more shenanigans. Uh, pylon, and we'll see it, what the tech choice is from there. Now, that being said, Gref is going to be a little bit behind now. Uh, Geralt's going to be able to have a couple extra units out before Gref has any. The Adepts will be showing up here fairly soon. Two more gateways. Cybercore will be finishing up in, I don't know, like 13 seconds, I think. 15. Gref still has a pylon here. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be able to get away with, like, warping in or anything from right there, but well, we'll see. Geralt already has a zealot out here. And the adepts are moving across. Ooh, actually, Gref pulls all of the probes. I don't know if that's necessarily the right call here. He really needs to have his econ or he really needs to keep up on his economy. Uh, Adepts are going to be showing up here momentarily too, so this is going to get very scary very quickly. Oh, there is a cannon here. I don't think this that might not be the right spot for a cannon. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Now, there's only going to be one Stalker versus a Zealot and two Adepts, so it's just not going to be enough. I don't think. A couple of probes are going to be going down now. That cell has really paid for itself at this point. Six probes have gone down in such a short amount of time. The two Stalkers are going to be able to take out the Adepts, but at this point, Gref is just down. Ten workers. What got killed there? I think that was another Adept. All right, so Gref isn't completely out, but he needs to make something happen very, very soon, or he is in a significant amount of trouble. Probe's still out here. He doesn't have the money to really drop any proxy tech. Also, I don't... Yeah, he doesn't have warp gate either. Geralt's just kind of ahead. I mean, it... He's just ahead. He already has an immortal out. He's got a warp prism coming. And Gref... Uh, Gref's still just making stalkers. Oh. Well, that's going to be it. Geralt 2-0's Gref.